welcome back to the channel this is your host table for one and today I'm here with a new segment I'm calling after they have your money titles in which before purchase seem to be a good investment maybe you uh, skipped Jake's before you buy or were so in love with the franchise like Far Cry here that you're too eager to jump right on into the next installment and for whatever reasonings the next installment just doesn't live up to the previous, which is the case here for me. I greatly love Far Cry 5. Uh, Far Cry New Dawn was an okay extension. But Far Cry 6, I was eager to get in, played it at launch, and quickly fell out of it. So I wanted to uh, explore and go back, start over fresh, and see if I can't find anything of uh, salvation. Um, I do remember that there are some Far Cry DNA that remains. And then there's other stuff that Ubisoft decided to play around with and change. Uh, which is not a bad thing, but not everything caught me at launch. So I just want to go back and do more of the start over. See how far give it a fresh look I don't know if I'll play the entire game but uh, that's the, that's the hope that it, it grabs me this time and then uh, we can take this journey together but yeah anyways if this uh, if this idea sounds cool to you uh, I hope that you uh, consider watching uh, if you're new to the channel then um, subscribe and if you end up liking this idea then please consider giving the video a like and with that, let's get going here. Alright, so I'm going to go with Gorilla Mode, the hardest difficulty for my playthrough here. Start her up. Now I do have a list, probably should uh, throw up here in this video at some point, but a list of pros and cons and neutrals between Far Cry 5 and Far Cry 6 that I'm going to be working off of in this gameplay here to see if I can't uh, change my perspective of this game. My true yachters, I stand before you armed with truth. For There's too long, the uh, big baddie himself. Precious, but you elected a vision, a cure, a road to paradise. Viviro, created by our own brilliant scientists. The most effective So I'm playing this on the PlayStation 5, so graphically within our Yes, the power. game is is Not beautifully done. Viviro is the key to rebuild paradise. But our paradise comes at a cost. This our enemies will never understand. Yara did not elect me to do what's easy but to do what's right. And so, with renewed focus, I must extend the draft to paradise. True Yarans from across our island, chosen to produce enough Vibiro to heal the world and save our country. These lucky Yarans will be chosen by random lottery. Even my own son Diego will be drafted tomorrow. Hey, Danny. And like a true yarder, he turn that serve shit off with a smile on his face. Precisamente. Exactly what Castillo wants. Enough for it. And here we come in you to think the, the draft fold. is only taking true yarders? It's the outcast, the poor, now this time, like us. we do get the choice of male or female, just like Far Cry 5, but Far Cry 5's perspective Yara. is, you know, you from this. Hang on. first, first uh, player right. mode only with no this. no voiceover, but I Danny here actually does have say, dialogue. Danny, fucking say something. So here we can uh, be female or male, and I'm going to go with uh, male. They go, my name. Danny, you could help Libertad. You're trained. You would have been career military if you weren't such a fuck. 
<laughs> Just come with us, Lita. Aye. You never fucking listen, Danny. Hey, time to go. Boss waiting. Drinks in Mexico. Dinner in Miami. Coño! Fucking blackout. Too big for a blackout. You fucking back it? <laughs> Oye! What's going on? Craftees must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. What the fuck? Craftees must report for duty. You will join us to rebuild paradise. Alejo, no! Craftees must report Alejo, for duty. Alejo, get down. You will join us to rebuild Castillo! Alejo! He lasts too long. So, right off the bat, now, dictatorship you rolling you into your first city first and coming. taking you over and killing your neighbors and friends See? and family has Come its on, terrifying Daddy. moments. But being a deputy marshal and then being stranded after a helicopter crash and then running into the Montana forest. Oh, this is, okay, oh, so, okay. Uh, is, and you're all, uh, you know, that's the difference with Far Cry 5 primarily is that you're on your own. Yeah, there's animal companions and pirate companions that you can get later on in the game and even some co-op if you invite a friend. But that wilderness survival of Far Cry 5 is so delicious um but let's see if uh, the civil war can't excite my uh, imagination as well so uh, apparently they don't care to come down this way of the hallway hey, Rojas, should have answered the call. next time to open the door is danny rojas come on Now I do, I do remember this because we're going to make our way to a boat, which does lead to a really cool introduction scene. up to me or okay there she is oh come on gotta move forgot that there was an option. Is that? Can you do that later in the game? Wrong cover? Slide. The slide is such a nice feature. Where the fuck are you taking me? This is a Kenya path in the 67 Revolution. Recognize the markings. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yes. Probably that we're supposed to be playing this inter this opening more slow, but since I remember it, I'm apparently going too fast for her. You 
Now this has got Last of Us vibes right here. Oh, that's... That was effective. You know, this opening has me excited. Just like another title that I could do another, uh, an after they have your money on for uh, Dying Light 2. You know, that opening of that game uh, grips you. And then after the uh, introduction is done, that game quickly crashes and burns for me personally. Um, so much blood. But uh, you jump back into a Far Cry and like, there's just some special sauce there. You, you want to spend time in that world if you're a fan of the franchise that is. So hoping that this does grip me this time. I see something that I didn't the first time. A lot of, uh, a lot of hardcore just to hit the damn boat. All right, okay. Stay with me, Lita. Thank you. Sorry to interrupt your evening. Like I said earlier, this leads to a uh, very tenseful opening that is very reminiscent to Far Cry 4 with Pagan Men, which I love Pagan Men's introduction. Um, one of the reasons why I fell out of this game quickly is, you know, we got spoiled with Far Cry 5 with Joseph Seed and, and his uh, three Seed family members that those villains were very much connected to the story the whole time yeah here we go um but uh, the dictator here seems to be taking notes from uh anton uh, seems to be taking notes from far cry 4 the pagan men which is a shame give up his sticky for his family bullshit Alejo is an orphan. Alejo's not going anywhere anymore. Come on, Marco. Let them on. Vamos. Good man. Get on the fuck, Singao! Get the dog! Judas. Nice little foreshadowing. Gracias. Don't worry about it, Chimaco. Here. Also, you notice that uh, Danny here has a uh, baseball shirt on, and the first uh, pack that they gave us when we jumped into Far Cry 5 back in 2018 now, uh, was that baseball uniform? It's interesting. Negan coming down the stairs, he'd be asking if we were shitting our pants yet. Before he 
was El Presidente. Me papa loved to fish. We would go out on a boat, just like this. And we would catch the fish, and then release them. And he would say, it's not always about your stomach, mio. It's about the challenge. Except when he caught a big, fat, juicy marlin. Ha! <laughs> he was too proud to let that fish go. Sick Tirano! You have poisoned Yara! You have poisoned your sword! Oh! I have caught a very big fish today. Haven't I, Diego? Diego! Busted. No way. <laughs> I have caught you, mijo. Now it's time to bring you home. I don't want this anymore, Papa. We have no choice. Let them go. They can work. Make vivido. Truth or lies? Truth. They could be good workers. They could help rebuild paradise. But if you wanted them to live, you would have never set foot on this fucking boat. Thirteen years old. And Diego has such compassion for his people. These fish? We will catch and release. See, pagan men would have done the job himself. Not that the cold dictator ordering his general to kill them isn't cold or nothing, but... Vamos, vamos! It was strong opening, but it's still personally more chilling to me that they're in that burning helicopter, hanging upside down, and then the father comes in, and that woman on dispatch just radioing in, hello, 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 and finally when Joseph reaches for that mic and, and dispatches back in and says everything's fine, and then her response is, praise be the father, oh thank God, and you realize that that's how far spread that cult was already spread in, in Montana, like, that's a chilling opening. I can't feel my legs. Fuck. This is all my fault. My phone. He's doing pretty good. He's uh, lost two dear friends and... What? This is the beach, Danny. Two hour, three hour crazy. span? One evening? What? She's hiding here. Plata. Libertad. Julio. Fuck. Julio. It's your He's burden now. Here. Take my phone. Follow the code like, like this we ring kids. must be destroyed. Stop, Elita. Just wait. I'll find help. No. You give her this. Clara will help you. Don't you get it? You're the lucky one, Danny. You're the lucky one. Title sequence. Ooh, our mesh ID. You know, the melee kills in this game. I do like those. All right, here we are. Far Cry Six. All right, uh, just take in, just take that scenery in. So many dead. You should look for supplies and get the fuck out of here. Oh, yeah. This is fate. There's dancing past Lita. All right, let's start scavenging. Ah, the loot system. Um, the fact that, unless if it's like a key item like this, where we're going to have to hold square. Uh, I do remember that's the other thing that irritated me. I tried to look in the settings to see if you could change it, but now you just automatically loot if you just walk over somebody or an animal. 
um, which for the survival aspect the of the hunting the really the takes that fantasy away of skinning animals that you just <clears throat> if you do sh shoot an animal it's just automatically in your inventory um, so yeah that is definitely a con in my opinion uh, let's uh, sorry I'm getting lost in this water here now also a potential con for Far Cry 5 is if if Northern American wildlife isn't exotic to you then you know coming back here in Far Cry 6 we get to deal with sharks and crocodiles and and more exotic life wildlife so that is a uh, definitely a perk should be well there's a bird right there oh uh, there should be ammo up here in this bunker i would imagine if i remember correctly we loop around here for some reason The, uh, well, this is more toward Sony than if you're on the PS5, but the triggers, the, uh, have back triggers feel really good aiming. All right. <clears throat> this guy went to go paint and never came back home. Okay. Your family will probably never know what happened to you. More importantly, I don't see any ammo. All right, let's go, uh... Double check to make sure I didn't... Oh, okay. Far Cry 5, of course, you pull out your uh, binoculars. Makes sense. Society that's absorbed in the phones now. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Use your phone. Here we go. How did I know you were scavenging for Libertad? I smelled it. Uh, so speaking of the machete melee now, attacks, let's, uh, yeah, here we go. You are going to slowly eat it, eat it by, feet, by the birds and the birds. Bonus. See, I just automatically picked up that ammo, and I have to hold square. Nice. I'm not the only one looking for Clara. Alright, let's uh, double back. I always feel like I'm gonna miss out on something. Uh, actually... This is... Yeah, okay. Uh it's up here real quick. Nothing. Go away, okay. All right, let's go on. Um, oh, okay, we can... So, like, yeah, obviously we can hold the... Uh, pick up the duffel... Oh, there's a guy in here. And... Good night. What's this? All right. Could be useful. Oh, okay. We got our first piece of clothing. So... So yeah, let's talk about that. Remember in Far Cry 5, well, Far Cry 3 and 4, you remember how we're killing animals to actually, like, create items to use to help us survive in those worlds? And in Far Cry 5, they introduced that RPG table where you unlock the perks. 
And then and the ones you had the perk, you had it unlocked, it was part of your character. So Far Cry 6 here's clever little idea of, hey, let's assign perks to different pieces of clothing. And like I said in the beginning of this video, yeah, they played around with new ideas, and that's not necessarily a bad thing, but this is one of those ideas that just drives me crazy, because, like, I don't want to be a Mitch Max, like, not that you see yourself, well, you do, in first person when you go back into camp, which is another oddity of itself, but I wish they would have stuck with if you wanted to unlock perks to your character, like Far Cry 5, they should have stuck with that. But I feel like that was because they had introduced clothing options in Far Cry 5 in a game that's strictly first person. So that's if you're doing online co-op, you never saw the clothing that you bought any- Oh! Alright. We uh, disturbed this pig. But, but because the developers obviously worked on those clothing for Far Cry 5, then at some point there must have been that crossover of like, hey, why don't we sign the perks to the clothing? And then that will force players to actually have to interact with our clothing for a first-person perspective game. But I digress. Let's, uh, let's see if we can move past this. And No physics on the apples. These uh, blue flowers are supposed to like be the yellow brick road for us that always lead us back to uh, to safe camps. Oh, we got our grapple. See, because in Far Cry 5, one of the perks was getting the grapple hook, but here they just give it to us because this is they're going for a different experience here. Show your face before you shoot me. Danny, a friend of Lita. Silencio. So our journey officially begins. You are the only survivor? Answer me. I said, are you the only survivor? Si, lucky. Lita knew the risks. That's all you have to say? You're here. That's what matters. Just a second, hermana. I'm getting the hell out of Yara. <laughs> but you're in my camp. I need a place to stay. A few days. Libertas no charity, hermano. Lita said you would help. Lita also said you weren't a pussy. Come mierda! Good. Danny's got fight in him. You're an orphan, see? Funny how friends can be closer than family. Remember, Danny? Castillo has kept you an orphan. Why do you want to run? I watched Castillo order a whole boat of our people shot to death. Get as far away as you can from that psychopath. All of you. <laughs> when tyranny is law, revolution is order. Quoting Bolivar won't save you. It's Pedro Albizu. Gonna save Yara with library cards? I have a list. Free elections, free expression, free the outcasts. A Yara free of Castillo's. Simple. Simple? Castillo's got what? 300,000 troops, I count six burnt-out guerrillas, and you, with a bullet to the leg. You don't believe me? I'll show you. We launched an attack from our base to this island. It was a basic operation. to the uh, world map. Get a tobacco plantation, snatch some fuel, and go home. 
but Castile's forces were waiting. I Got believe from that's six. the starting you map. Need to get Actually, that's not even the yes. full but map. This island is surrounded by a blockade. Because I do remember one impressive thing about this game was the size of its world. Obviously, Montana is a setting you know, playing as a state, and they broke it up into those three sections. Like, I mean, it was really dense. There's a lot, I mean, I never, I never felt it being small. But this, this gets to like, uh, was it Tom Clancy's uh, Ghost, Re Ghost Recon uh, Wildlands? Like, that whole country they give you, that map feels so big and overwhelming. Uh, this... Which also is Ubisoft, but uh, I remember this map being like, whoa, the first time I opened up the full extent of that map. Someone who can make one guerrilla fight like a thousand. You know I'm not a guerrilla, right? You tell me to that. I'll give you food, a bed, even a goddamn boat to sail to the Yankees. But it's gonna cost you bullets and blood. You can shoot, so shoot. Settle in, and let me know when you want to pay your rent. All right. Uh, yeah, they got my uh, intrigue there. Um, I'm gonna end it here for now. But if you like this idea, please uh, please continue watching. I'm definitely going to put up a uh, part two for this. So until next time, this has been Table for One. Danny, Later. Let's find